This is the uh, journey, the long journey, that a diamond goes through from the moment it is formed three billion years ago through its discovery and then through its transformation, represented by a man who embodies the diamond and we discover him in the depths of the earth. He emerges and he begins his journey of transformation until he reaches the city where he's in his full splendor and then the woman he is to love forever. It's a sort of a metaphor, so from the earth it's when he's uncut and rough until he reaches the city where he is a beautiful cut clean diamond. What we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the story of the Forever Mark selection process. Not every diamond reaches the Forever Mark standards of beauty and so he emerges with 100 other men. What we're trying to say here is that only one in a hundred are the most beautiful diamonds in the world. It's an epic story. It's a story that goes through mountains and rains and thunders. We really wanted to give it a huge amount of drama. The reason really is we want to break conventions. We want to talk to young people. We want to grab attention. to be different, it has to be engaging, and it almost has to have a surprise at the end. You really don't know what's happening until you reach that magic moment. And this is actually even more important for us because it's the moment in which we're reintroducing A Diamond Is Forever, a slogan that has been the slogan of the century, now has an opportunity to become even more powerful and more beautiful as we tell the Forever Mark story. We started this journey with uh, J. Walter Thompson a number of months ago. Very quickly, we, we reached a really good creative idea, very powerful. Uh, and with Mercurio, we found a fantastic location. And then the director, Robert Chu, who in amazing capability of bringing magic to each one of the scenes, it really is an epic and beautiful story.